Hi, I'm Paul Mitchell from the Hume Enterprise. If there's one thing that people are looking to you for as a leader, it's feedback, both good and bad. Today, I want to talk about the good stuff. I want to talk to you about crediting and the difference between a compliment and a credit. Because I find a lot of leaders are giving compliments, but they're not giving credits. And a credit is a performance management tool, giving very specific feedback back to the person about what they did that was brilliant, how they blew you out of the water. So what we need to do when we give credits, though, is to first of all have what I call an attitude of gratitude. It's no use giving someone a credit and going, oh, you did a good job, you know, get on with it. That's the wrong thing. We need to be grateful that we've got such great people in our team. And the way we get grateful is we come from a position of gratitude thinking we don't know how lucky we are. Back in the, back in the, you know the Beatles song, back in the USSR. And that's the mnemonic for this particular skill, USSR. Now, I know it doesn't exist anymore, but it's a wonderful way to, re to remind us of going through the particular skill. So the first thing is you've got this person who's performed brilliantly and you want to give them some feedback. They don't know where you're coming from, so you've got to give them what we call an upfront positive general reference. Upfront positive general reference. In other words, we refer to the area that we are talking about. For example, if someone's done some, a great petty cash return, you don't just say, could I see you this afternoon about your petty cash? Now that's a general reference, but they're thinking, oh my God, what have I done? Or you can give them just an upfront positive. Hey, I want to talk about something that's really fantastic. You've given them an upfront positive, but no general reference as such. So that's the first thing. Give them a context. Prepare the ground to sow the seed of self-esteem, to sow the specific feedback. The next is, and that's it, make it specific. Give them a specific example or examples. Make it real. What does it say? It says, you know what? You're watching me. You're watching me. You, you look at what I do. You care. Um, so the next thing is, it's not just what they did, it's also who they are. And this, to me, is the most powerful part of a credit. So you let the person know what were the skills or the qualities that they demonstrated. Enthusiasm, attention to detail, customer care, whatever it might be. And finally, that's about the person. And we have a need to be individuals, but guess what? We have a need to fit in. We have a need to be part of a, of a bigger thing. So the final thing you do is you let people know how their efforts make a difference. What they do counts. You give them meaning. And that's what you are as a leader. You're a meaning maker. So the final part of our credit is a resulting benefit. So, let's have a look at how this goes together. I'm going to make it real. We've got our wonderful camera person with us right now, Farah. So I'm going to give Farah a real credit. I want you to imagine that she's in the room with us right now. So rather than saying, hey, you did a great job with the camera work, that's a compliment. It's not a credit. And that's what I see so many managers do. And then they get feedback that they never give any, 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 any feedback and they're blown away because they think they're giving it all the time. It's not enough. So want to thank you about the fantastic job you're doing with the camera work. Notice camera work, general reference, fantastic job, upfront positive. Specifically, the way you told me to be a little bit more animated, is it coming through? Is it coming through? <laughs> a little bit more animated and talk to the camera. This says you care. You want our viewers to have a great experience. You care. It says you're really looking and tracking at what's happening. It says that you've, you've got great attention to detail. And finally, as a result of that, I'm sure we're going to have a better video. I'm sure we're going to have a, a, a much better meaning for our viewers and that they'll go away and have some real leadership skills that they can implement. What have we done here? We've actually talked about why up front. We've then talked about what it is that they've actually done. Uh, we've talked about uh, uh, the, who they are as a person. And as I said, this is the most important thing, which is often left out of a credit. And finally, we've talked about uh, the, the how, how it actually makes a difference, how they fit in, what they do counts. I assure you, if you just do one credit a day rather than just one compliment a day, 
your people will thank you, they'll get better, you'll get better, your organization will get better, and you'll feel fantastic. So that's it. Dr. Paul says one credit a day. That's the dosage. I'm Paul Mitchell from the Human Enterprise. Be true to you.